Well, hello there once again. Well, this is an interesting set, and interesting doesn't mean high quality, which is coming to the workshop for restoration work. It's got the original mic on it, and as you can see, that says convoy on it. If we turn this round. This is the Domico Convoy 1, which takes us back to 1981, one of the first sets on the UK legal scene. One of the interesting things about it is when you go into transmit, the meter light goes to red on the right and then back to the normal glow on the left. It's a relatively basic set. It's very American style. It looks like it's come out of the 1970s. But it's got public address facility on the far side of the squelch there. And in line with the MPT 1320 specifications, it's got high-low power, taking it between the 4 watts and the 0 0.4 watts. So on the back, and of course we're plugged into all the test equipment here, what have we got? Well, there's the maker's stick. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. You probably won't see another one of these. That's a... Now we don't have a service manual for one of these, but we do have a circuit diagram. And over the years, when we've had one of these in for repair before, I did make myself a little diagram up. So there's the circuit diagram, and I made myself some little notes about which coil does what and what preset variable resistor does what. So we can't go into the huge detail that we normally would going through all the voltages as the manual says because as I say we don't have a manual but nevertheless we still do have to go through this set and ensure that it's transmitting and receiving correctly. So the first thing which I'm going to do is we'll put the radio into transmit and we'll see if it's on frequency. And let's have a look at that. It's 27 decimal 79109 should in fact be 27125 so it's dropped slightly with age which is quite normal VR2 we'll just zoom in on the chassis is next to the 10.24 um, crystal there I'll just have to move my head to get into there and there we go, we'll just adjust that. And that's straight on to frequency, it's absolutely spot on. 2779126, we're just slightly, slightly high, uh, then it's got more leeway to drop as it ages. So we've done that. So the transmit, we'll have a look at the power now. As I say, it should be 4 watts, we'll just take that back out again. switch the uh, other camera in and 4 watts on this meter that's 30 that's 5 so 4 is there and that's the wrong scale that's the not that's the 3 watt scale and we've gone straight over to to 4 that's absolutely splendid Going back to the other scale and checking the radio on low power, it should be 0 0.4 of a watt. So let's have a look at that. So we're on the 3 scale. And what have we got there? Um, one point something. That's set too high. That's no good. So according to my information, variable resistor 2... And variable resistor 2, let's look at my little sheet here. It's right at the front. And between the wiring harness, that should be where it is. 
Tell you what though, that isn't doing what uh, I would expect, but I would expect it to be that one over there, so it looks like our charts are wrong. Hey, that is indeed it. And that's now 0 0.4, should put that back on. You can see that's 0 0.4. And we'll just amend our little sheet here to say that that wasn't right. Now, so I don't need to transmit, go through the transmitter, but I will go through it with you. Okay, the transmit adjustments are T3, which is that one, there's one there under the wiring. Just see that there. T5, which is that one. There's two there, there's another one under the wiring, it's not that one, it's that one, the one to the right. T6, just before we get to the screen can, and they're the speaker wires. And then L1, which is in the can, and L5, which is also in the can. But seeing as the radio is spot on, there's no further adjustment necessary on the transmitter. Now what we'll do is just do the deviation. And we'll just put the little oscillator on. Now what's that reading? That is pretty low. It should be two and a half. So we're looking at that being um oh just under the one. So the deviation on this radio is VR ten. And that's the second one to the left. If you remember we did the one to the right of these two down here which wasn't the low power. So the one to the left is that one there. And that isn't actually very good at all. Turn the oscillator off. It's one of these sets by the looks of this that doesn't have much mic sensitivity. What when we do a, a, a when we talk loudly, wallow, wa wallow, wallow. It uh, certainly does the two and a half deviation there, but uh, it certainly isn't as sensitive as uh, as you'd expect but it's not a set which has mic gain. So that's how it is. It's, what it's obviously designed for talking closely and um, for people who don't want to talk closely, of course, a, a power preamplified mic would no doubt help dramatically. So that's covered the transmitter. Now we'll just go into the receiver. Let's see what